Now, if the impact is in case at ten, it reflects something different. It reflects Zulu typeism, and I don't think we should actually lock ourselves into Zulu typeism. Typeism is a backward form of politics. It is having its time frame. It disappears. So, if that is the factor, I'm not worried about. That's, that's number one. But in terms of being a tribal party, I think that was mischievous from Kwete Mantash. Maybe if we can help the ANC card, because it started with the IUT League, so we thought it was just one of those passing issues of young people, you know, that wanted just to shine because it's elections. But when the national chair of the ANC raised it, it warranties us to respond accordingly. Firstly, the tribal connotation is said to be directed to President Zuma. But all of us know that President Zuma is a proud Zulu man, practices his culture openly. That's number one. But number two, it is President Zuma that led the peace negotiation in KZN, wherein a Zulu nationalist party, which was the IFP, was responsible for political violence in KZN. And now it is President Zuma who engaged them and led the process that led to that peace. Part of what they were doing was to basically own into the Zulu culture. And it is President Zuma who taught us, when we were still there in the ANC, that in actual fact there is nothing wrong to be a culturalist or a Zulu and being an ANC at the same time. So it is mischievous that now President Zuma will be accused of being a tribalist when he actually just raised an issue of being a proud Zulu man, no matter in which political party you belong to. That's number one. But what is so important about it is that the ANC look, needs to look into its own self as to how its structures have weakened to a point of non-existent. Firstly, it was President Mandela who actually spoke about sins of incumbents into the ANC and how the ANC is degenerating. Then it was President Mbegi who followed and advised the same thing. And then it was President Zuma. Now those things that they were advised about have led into the weakening of the ANC badly in KZN than any other province. So when actually they are defeated in KZN, they are defeated where they are weak, seriously weak. There is no leadership, if we can put it bluntly there. Having said that, is that we originate from that province, and we can tell you about the politics of that province from in and out. So the ANC needs to own up of the fact that it is weak and it cannot perform. Its structures is dead and cannot run an effective campaign. It is a war within that cannot focus into a battlefields of the elections. But let's move to the third element into, into that. We got more than 2.3 million votes. Half of that is spread throughout the country. But if you, if you analyze deeper as to where are we spreading, we, we, we have good numbers in Pumalanga, in Gauteng, and in KZN. The reason for that is that as, as part of our own planning, we wanted to make sure that we deploy resources where we think we can better manage them. That's why you are able to get the outcome of numbers that you see in this province. It's not tribalism. It's only a lazy thinker that will actually talk about that. We will be going on and spread. But let's, let's flip this thing. Now, 
The NC continues to grow or to maintain the numbers, even though the number of votes that they got is a bit low. They've got a good number in Limbopo. Can we say they are tribalists because the president is vendor? That's lazy thinking. And we can't claim the same because we did not do much of the work there. Can we say the same for the Eastern Cape, as Lamulo was saying? That's lazy thinking. So to label us as a tribal party when we have a national foothold is an insult to voters, especially those coming from KZN. But let's, 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 maybe let me end it there, not to take time. Thanks, Lamulo. I had an interest to say, when Mbeki was president of the ANC and he was voted, got a majority of the votes from that two-third, it came from Eastern Cape, where the ANC ever labeled a cross of us. The majority of that vote also came from KZN, where the ANC labeled a Zulu party, where the tribalist party. So, you know, people just try and, uh, you know, sow divisions and bring about tribalism themselves, which is very dangerous. And we should shy away from that because the Contour season is not a tribalist party. And also, it actually undermines the people that wanted to vote for it. Doesn't mean just because you're Sudan, you like the Contour season, you're a tribalist. What is it? And why are we having this kind of conversations in this day and age when we should be focusing on actually transforming ourselves as a people? but I see one of them. No, but I see one